Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nash. OnePlus has unofficially abandoned OnePlus One because it's now three year old flagship and they don't care about it. But the cool developers over XDA doesn't want to leave this beast of the phone. So one of very hard working developer has ported OnePlus 3's Marshmallow version of Oxygen OS based on 6.0.1 to the OnePlus One with some extra goodies of course. In a way, this port can almost convert your OnePlus One in OnePlus 3. So first thing first, this is Oxygen OS version 3.1.4 and surprisingly it has systemless super zoo and systemless exposed pre-installed. Yes, the exposed. If any of you doesn't know about the exposed, it's kind of way to make system level changes to your Android without installing a custom ROM. All you need is root access. There are very little customization but all of them are useful like changing to dark mode with one of very cool accent colors, quick setting, tile rearrangement but you can't add a new tile. Button customization, you can change LED notification color and you can hide icons in the status bar. Two finger swipe down. Also if you are night watchman like me, there is color mode available for you. Some gestures settings and that's it for the features but you don't need to worry if you got exposed install because you can always install gravity box module for exposed and you can enjoy features of any room comment below if you want to see more exposed related videos on the channel srgb mode in developer settings improved ram management and official twrp ota support Let's talk about OTA. So there is OTA update inside, but if you get OTA update, it won't be from OnePlus or Oxygen OS. It will be from developer. So keep that in mind. The stock camera app is of course Oxygen OS camera and it's snappy. Very quick autofocus, nice manual mode and slow motion video at 240 FPS. Have a look. Let's talk about beauty, amazingly well designed dashboard where you can access quickly to people or apps you love the most. But don't you worry, if you don't like it you can always disable it and that's the beauty of Oxygen OS. The ROM is super smooth, no force flows, no random reboots. I almost felt like I'm using OnePlus 3 from last couple of days. Oxygen OS is very nice effort by OnePlus One for the average user and it will more than get the job done. As many have pointed out, it's basically AOSP with couple of extra features baked in. That makes it about as close as stock Android as you can get. Now there are three versions of this port. Please be careful to select Super X version. That's what I chose. I got around 5 hours of screen on time and that's always a good thing. In case you want more battery life, there is something called KA mode means kernel editor mode. I will give the link for that also you can follow that and gain more battery life. I would give 4.7 out of 5 to this room and extra points are for systemless exposed and systemless super suit. This room is just amazing. Unfortunately, there is no Nougat version yet, but it will come eventually. And for those who are interested, I ran into 2 benchmark score on this ROM. You can check out by clicking the i button in the corner. So that's it for today guys. And please subscribe my friends because I put videos every day. And like the Facebook page in case you need to ask me something. This is Nash and I will see you next time.